Hi guys, I'm back. In this video, I'll be sharing a style with you guys on this client here. I usually post her style pictures on the community section of this channel. So if you don't know about that, check it out. I usually post little updates and pictures there. But you guys always ask for a tutorial on her styles. Unfortunately, the previous styles, I never had a chance to really... Um, Record. I never really thought about recording until you all requested that I did a tutorial. So this is probably like her fifth, sixth, maybe seventh style that I've done um, because she loves getting styles and I, she loves challenging me and I love challenging myself and doing the styles for her. So this one, I was like, you know what? I'm going to record it. This was super early in the morning. So please don't judge. Don't judge um, my raggedy shirt. None of that. This is super early in the morning. So this is her hair after a retwist. She's had her lock extensions for eight months. Yes, these are lock extensions. She's had them for eight months. She started with really short hair. So I will be doing a one year lock lock journey, lock extension journey video for her on this channel. So stay tuned for that. But in this video, I'll just be showing you guys how I style her hair. I've already done the retwist. If you guys want to see something um, dealing with a retwist, also I can do that. Um, she has a little lint build up, but that's okay. It happens. And with her starting with such short hair, I think that might have contributed to it. But I'm not sure. That's just um, a hypothesis. But her roots look great, healthy. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and start styling. And what we're doing today is basically a high barrel bun. She usually sends me photos of what she likes of styles that she wants something similar to. It doesn't have to be the exact same, but something similar. So I usually put my own little twist on whatever she sends me. So this, once again, will be a high barrel bun. I'm, I'm just calling it that. I don't know if that's what it's really called. But if you've looked at the thumbnail, then you already know what the style will be looking like. So, yeah, we're going to start with putting her hair up. So these are basically like lobster braids, but I am positioning them in a way that they're going up into a ponytail. That way they can be prepped for a bun. So they're going up into a ponytail and they're going with at an angle. And you'll see that later on as the style progresses. But pretty much I just find the locks that are um, adjacent to the tip of her ear. To the top tip of her, of her ear and take it all the way up to the top in kind of like a, 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 a subtle, kind of like a subtle curve. But not a sharp curve. I've already done one as you've seen. But this is pretty much what I'm doing. I do one and I go off of that one. So as I end the lobster braid, I roll it around into a barrel. And I'm going to do this again so I can better explain it. But I'm just rolling it around into a barrel. And I've done barrels on this channel before. If you're if you're um, unsure about barrels or have trouble with barrels, um, there's definitely so many tutorials on YouTube of people doing barrels with locks. But pretty much you're just taking one lock and wrapping it around the um locks that you have in your hand and once you run out of lock to wrap with you get the next longest lock and keep wrapping with that one and you run out again you get the next longest lock and you keep wrapping with that one until you get to the end and you can create a loop and wrap around that loop and loop the hair in or you could use rubber bands i use rubber bands because i feel like they're more secure so once again i am using I am um, doing a, a lobster braid into a barrel roll. I start with um, I start with one lock and I start adding hair to it to make the lobster braid like such. And once again, I'm going at a curved, subtle curve. I'm go and then I'm going at an angle. So these braids can now meet at the top of her head being prepped for a bun. So once again, as you see here, as I get to the notch where it ends or where I want it to end, I start rolling. I get one of the long longest locks at that point and I just start rolling and rolling. And it doesn't matter what direction you roll in, but I alternate my directions because I feel like it gives the barrel more security. So if I was rolling the first lock to the right once that lock 
ends or it runs out of length, I take my next longest lock and I roll it to the left. And I'm going to repeat this process all the way, all the way around her head. So once again, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do my lobster braid or basket weave braid, whatever you want to call it. And I'm making sure to keep it very fluid and flat to the head because this will be a bun. You don't want a bulky head and a bun. That's a bit much. You want it to be as flat to the head as possible because the bun is a centerpiece of this style, not not any other area around her head. The top and the bun is the centerpiece. So this is just leading up to the centerpiece. So I keep it real fluid. I'm not trying to make anything bulky. I'm not trying to add too many locks at a time. So right here, I'm just, once again, taking that lock and twisting it and twisting it all the way until I run out. Then I'm going to get another lock and go the opposite direction and twist it and twist it and keep going until I run out of lock again and go the opposite direction of that lock. All right, so I'm showing you here where I've prepped my parts already because it's good to pre-part that way you know what you're doing, especially if you're going at an angle. You can run out of space. You can run out of um, ideas when it comes to where you want certain braids to go. So I've already pre-parted, separated with rubber bands, and now I'm just going to go in and knock them out. Now I'm done. Those were the pre-parts you saw, and now they're done. Lobster braids are done. Barrels are done. They're all secured with rubber bands at the end. Now I'm going to work on forming her bun. This takes a little bit of creativity because... Right here, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I really don't. I'm just going with the flow, seeing where these barrels take me because I want it to be a unique bun. I don't want it to be me copying something I've seen. Um, I want it to just be unique pretty much. So I'm just letting my creative juices flow. And I'm also a minimalist in, a, in most things that I do. You guys already know this about me. So I am trying to use at the the least amount of rubber bands, pins, whatever, what have you possible. So what I ended up doing is I ended up using one rubber band to, to, to secure two locks to the back. These two locks are going to help me build the foundation for this bun because this bun is going to be a little high. So these two locks that I'm taking and creating kind of like a, kind of like a makeshift, um, headband or not headband, scrunchie, makeshift scrunchie. I'm using the two locks to make a scrunchie. Now I'm going to use thread to create my structure and secure it because there are not enough bobby pins in the world to secure this and or to secure it correctly and have it look nice. The thread is smoke covert. It looks better. It blends in better. So what I'm doing first is I'm taking that first thread through and I've made my knot or my loop. One loop, one knot is enough because you want to be able to take it out. And I'm doing one loop per lock because I'm trying to use the thread to keep everything together. So I'm just basically going, um, doing as I go, seeing what fits where, seeing what looks best where, um, seeing how the structure is going to play out. You can use a a curved needle that you would use, you would typically use for a sew-in, but I'm using a bobby pin because I couldn't find my curved needle, so I have to improvise. So I'm using a bobby pin, and I'm being careful to to I'm being careful to um, take that bobby pin through all the areas she has rubber bands. So instead of the bobby pin going through the locks, they're going um, they're going under the rubber bands. 
And at this point, I'm not trying to make it tight because I'm leaving room for error. I'm leaving room for if I if I have one barrel somewhere that looks funky, I'm able to remove it. So it's not tight at all right now. This is just me trying to form the structure, trying to see what it's going to look like, what it could look like, what it should look like, what looks good, what looks bad. Um, yeah. So once again, I didn't start with any any um idea of what I was going to do. I just know I wanted to do a bun. I wanted to do a bun with structure, unique. So I'm just letting my creative juices flow. And that's what I'm doing right now. Once again, please excuse my raggedy shirt. It is super early in the morning. <laughs> I was trying to get her hair done before I went off to school. Original Batman. Lego. Fire can cool me up blazing. Me I be the one that bless me. Them baga come can't taste me. Them baga come can't taste me. Bad man, me a no say me a better than them. Them a call me yard, me a better than all. Bad man, me a never back down, stop. Them a mama me a damn. Ah, me a them, me a what I done. Tell them all, tell them okay, what I done, me a done. Tell them, let them me a what I want. Tell them, me a let them me a what I want. Say they can on try run me down. Bad man, me I never talk on me on. Say, them a fear try for me down. Bad men are tracking me down. I tell them. Bad man and your me, I vex them. They not understand me, I see them. Anywhere they stand me, I tear them. I tell them. Come in on me yard, me not fear them. Bad man, they talk me, not hear them. Bad man, they talk me, I tear them. So you think them are moving right. And a bad man, they feel alright. Say so things them are moving right. And a bad man, they feel alright. Let's go. and that was it for the threading I just created one more loop secured it and cut it off and now I'm trying to reposition certain barrels that look funky to me because they're kind of making a weird shape I want a symmetrical a shape that would be symmetrical in nature those are the things that we find most attractive as humans things that are symmetrical whether we know it or not so that's basically what I'm doing by repositioning certain things And a few of the barrels that I left loose on purpose so I could have room to reposition. I'm using bobby pins to put them in place. And I believe I use a total of two or three bobby pins to secure the few areas that I felt like needed to um, be moved a little bit to get my um, height and my structure and of course, all throughout doing this, I made sure she was okay with the structure. She was okay with the height, things like that. I also added a nice little piece of custom-made lock jewelry for her. I custom-made this on the spot. I usually do this for my clients. If they want lock, if they want lock jewelry, I make it for them right in front of them so they can choose what pieces go in. So this one's a crystal, some beads, and gold wire and um, this really nice little unique gold bead but yes that is it that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it um, please leave me a comment what do you think of the style and what styles do you like see you guys later bye